Hi, I'm here today to talk to you about the Lascelles Dual Gun. This multi-use piece of apparatus should find a use in every classroom. Key Stage 3, Key Stage 4 and especially 6 4. The Dual Gun is essentially an energy transfer and storage device. Energy is supplied to the system using the low voltage DC power supply and it's stored in these capacitors. Whenever you're ready you can discharge the capacitors through one of the three coils turning that energy into the kinetic energy of the projectile. At Key Stage 3, students could just try and explain all the different energy changes taking place. Or perhaps they could explain why the projectile fires by using their knowledge of electromagnetism. But at Key Stage 4, a more quantitative approach is probably necessary. There are a vast number of variables associated with the dual gun. Students can change the charging voltage, the number of capacitors that are switched in, the number of turns on each coil, or the mass of the projectile. They can also measure the distance travelled by the projectile. All these different variables make the dual gun ideal for practising graphical techniques. But for a more quantitative approach, why not set up the dual gun vertically? This way, you can fire a projectile straight upwards, measure the height it reaches, and therefore calculate its potential energy. Doing this allows students to calculate total potential energy gained and relate that to the kinetic energy of the projectile when it leaves the coil. With a quick change of setup, the same ideas can be applied to sixth form work on projectiles. By mounting the coil at an angle, the projectile can be fired and its range measured. This makes the dual gun ideal for work on projectile motion. The dual gun really is ideal for sixth form work. Not only can they study potential energy, but they can study capacitance, work out the energy stored on the capacitors, and use that to calculate the efficiency of the device. In fact, why not remove the coil entirely and connect a PC oscilloscope? That way students can use the dual gun to have a detailed look at the charge and discharge characteristics of capacitors, something that's required for most exam boards. Once they've done that, students can use their knowledge of capacitors, electromagnets and energy transfers to try and explain why more capacitors doesn't always mean more height. All these experiments and more can be found in instructions, handbook and accompanying worksheets. Bye for now.